Ring here on the Louisiana Hayride. His name is Hank Williams. The best in From the Grand Ole Opry, Bill Monroe and his Bluegrass Boys. <laughs> Hi, this is Bruce Horns. Hi, this is Kevin Moe. Hey, folks, this is Bela Fleck. Hi, folks, this is Sam Bush. Hello, this is Odetta. This is Joan Baez, and you're listening to the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. And now, gather the family around and sit back in your easy chair. It's time again for the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour, our worldwide celebration of grassroots music. Let's welcome folk singer, author, and tree hucker, Michael Jonathan. Here's a song that uh, was released to the world through the Carter family, and then in the 1950s, the Stanley Brothers recorded it, and we're gonna do our own little rendition of a beautiful old Appalachian tune called East Virginia Blues. I was born in East Virginia, North Carolina, did I roam? There I met a fair young maiden Her name and age I do not know Well, her hair was dark and curly And her cheeks such a ruby red on her breast, she wore white lilies Where I long to lay my head I was born in East Virginia North Carolina Did I roam there I Her name and age, I do not know. A little fiddle now. Does don't know my sorrow. Cordon doves don't know my pain. Once they've parted from one another, they fly away from love again. I was born. Virginia, North Carolina, did I roam? There I met a fair young maiden, her name and age I do not know.
The Woods Songs, Old Time Radio Hours, presented in part by VisitLex.com, an online vacation guide for families, visitors, and corporate conventions to visit the cafes, horse parks, and cultural world of Lexington, Kentucky. And by the National Folk Festival, one of America's longest-running celebration of arts, culture, and heritage. Information about attending this year's family-oriented musical festival is online at nationalfolkfestival.com. Welcome to the beautiful and the historic Lyric Theater in our hometown of Lexington, Kentucky. We're broadcasting worldwide from Australia to Ireland, New Zealand to New York, Yuma, Arizona to the Yukon and Northern Canada. We are celebrating the beautiful, amazing world of independent and grassroots art. Uh, artists come from all over the world to be on our stage. You don't have to be famous to be on Wood Songs. You just have to be very, very good. We've got two amazing artists to introduce uh, uh, their new music to you. Uh, today. The first one up is, is a dear friend as well as a brilliant artist and a, a legendary figure in the world of Roots music. When he was with his group, the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, they got together and put together a wonderful album that became legendary in the world of music. You know the song they recorded with uh, Miss Maybelle Carter and so many wonderful legends like Doc Watson and other. He's the guy that inspired this whole idea of will the circle be unbroken? One of the greatest albums in pop music history, but they weren't done. They took a Jerry Jeff Walker song and turned this into a big hit. I knew a man Bojangles and he danced for you. Worn out shoes, silver hair and ragged shirt and baggy pants. Well, prolific as he is, he's not done. He's been recording uh, so many other artists as a producer. He's a wonderful songwriter. And he's got a new album all of his own out right now called Made in Brooklyn. We're going to get to talk to him about that wonderful CD. But he's going to introduce himself with a great tune called Some of Shelley's Blues. Please welcome the legendary and the amazing John McEwen to the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Maybe you remember this one. Thank 
you. John McEwen, it's great to see you again. Thank you so much for coming on, on the show. I know you're a busy guy and you took time for us and uh, we appreciate it. Like I said to my mom, Michael, thanks for having me. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> let's get a, a little history on you. You're a, you're a West Coast boy and uh, one of your neighbors was a, a fellow that wanted to be a comedian and, uh, and uh, you guys worked together at Disneyland for a while. His name was yeah, Steve, Steve Martin. Martin. Yeah. Steve Martin, the big... who's made a lot of impact in the world of uh, bluegrass music and the banjo, and you're the one who taught him how to play. He's nice enough to say that. Yeah, Steve well, got, that's true. You taught him how to play. Steve's got friends he hasn't even used yet. <laughs> and uh, Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, you're out there uh, celebrating over 50 years together on the road. Oh, yeah. Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. It's our 50th year, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're doing, you're very spry. Of course, you're, you're famous in the world of roots music for your banjo playing, your mandolin player, and uh, well, you and J.D. Crow and Del McCurry were in competition for a while no, I for the bed, best head of hair, and I think oh. you won. <laughs> <laughs> I think you won that battle. I think J.D. Crow will admit that you won that battle. Tell me about this new record. You're, 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 you're coming out with new stuff. You're, you're on the road. You're still as passionate about your music as you always was. Made in Brooklyn, an unusual title for a Folk and Roots album. Well, one of the guests on it is Steve Martin, and we were sitting there recording a song that Matt was singing, a, uh, a Warren Zevon song, and Steve says, says to me, uh, what are you calling the album? And I said, well, I don't know. We're recording in Brooklyn. And he says, well, why don't you call it Made in Brooklyn? Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Duh. And uh, what, the basic way it came together is all these years I've been able to travel everywhere. I mean, I've stayed in some of the finest holiday inns in the world. <laughs> <laughs> but I've run into a lot of people, people that play, wonderful players. And a lot of them play the same kind of music but they didn't know each other. So what I did is I called in a bunch of people that have been my friends over the years, and they came together like a band. And it's David Bromberg and Matt Cartson is here. I've been playing with him for 30 years. Yeah. And a, a bunch, Martha Redbone. John Cowan da was on the album, John right? Cowan, right. I don't David know David Bromberg, from, sure, from yeah. Newgrass Revival. David Bromberg, I've known since 72. Yeah. And we've recorded once and then 10 years later again. And, isn't it true, though, that's how the uh, Circle uh, Beyond Broken album came together? You just call friends like Doc Watson and Mabel. It wasn't quite like that. I asked Earl Scruggs one night if, if he'd play uh, on a record with the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. And I wasn't alone. I had a whole band behind me. If I would just ask him, him as a banjo player, I was just a kid from Orange County playing the banjo. Uh, you know, I, mean, I, had a, I, had a, I had a dog. I, I was like a normal guy. I had an East German Shepherd. Yeah, East German. It, it kept people in my yard. <laughs> but Earl said yes. And a week later, Doc Watson said, well, if Earl's going to be there, I want to pick. And then the band we started talking about, Earl Scruggs got us, Maybell Carter, Louise Scruggs got us in touch with Jimmy Martin. And Earl said, I found a fiddler that could cover the whole thing. And I said, who is it? He goes, Vasher Clements. I said, is he good? <laughs> I was from California. I didn't know much. <laughs> didn't know these people. And he said, Earl said, he'll do. <laughs> well, so your new album, we can at least say that it's sort of in the same spirit of collecting yes, friends. Yes, very much so. We all gathered around a microphone set up that was just two microphones. And everybody, we'd learned the songs. We'd been communicating. We'd rehearsed. And we, when you played the song, when you were, you were done, when it was over. So what a weird concept. You didn't, like actually recording it for real. So you didn't use the big multi-track uh, no, overdubbing thing, just two mics? It was mics. live. It, it, the test run would say, uh, okay, the lead singer's not close enough, the background singer's too close, and we can't, it was like that. It's a very unusual recording. Well, you're here with uh, your friend Matt. You're also here with John Cable and uh, on bass. And uh, we're going to go into one of the songs on the new album. The new CD is called Made in Brooklyn. It's brand new. Blue Ridge Mountain Home is the name of the song. John McEwen on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio Home. There 
There's a well-beaten path on old mountainside Where I wandered when I was a lad And I wandered alone in that place I call home In those Blue Ridge Hills far away Oh, I love those hills of old Virginia From those Blue Ridge Hills I did roam When I die, won't you bury me on a mountain Far away in my Blue Ridge Mountain home Well, my thoughts wander back to that ramshackle shack In those Blue Ridge Hills far away where my mother and father are laid there to rest They are sleeping in peace together there Oh, I love those hills of old Virginia From those Blue Ridge Hills I did roam When I die, won't you bury me on a mountain Far away in my Blue Ridge Mountain home I return to that old mountain home with a sigh I'm longing for days gone by When I die, won't you bury me on that old mountainside Make my resting place upon the hill so high Oh, I love those hills of old Virginia From those Blue Ridge hills I did roam When I die, won't you bury me on a mountain Far away He's one of the most revered artists in all of the roots and bluegrass world. John McEwen is on our show for the, uh, for the hour. We're going to get back to him shortly. If you want to revisit this broadcast, we encourage you to go to woodsongs.com, click on the archive page. This is show number 855. You know, John McEwen and the uh, Nitty Gritty Dirt Band put together this legacy album, uh, Will the Circle Be Unbroken, which has been entered into uh, by the, uh, by the uh, United States Library of Congress as one of the most important albums of the 20th century. Century. It was discovered as a hymn in 1907. The Carter family in 1935 recorded it and put it out. And then in the early 1970s is when the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band released it to the entire world on this album. When we were looking for a second artist to appear with John McEwen on this particular broadcast, we were like, who can fit in that kind of contemporary but old-time pocket? And these guys that we're about to introduce have been on our radar for quite a while. Listening to them is as if you're listening to a 1943, 78 RPM, old-timey, oh brother, where art thou kind of record, but without the scratches and the pops. They've got an album called Live on Music City Roots. It's the first album released on that record label. This is a tune called Work Don't Bother Me. Please welcome from Johnson City, Tennessee, Bill and the Bells. I don't bother work, 
Work don't bother me I'm just as happy as a bumblebee Eat when I can get Sleep most all the time I don't give a doggone If the sun don't ever shine Go most anywhere I don't pay no fare I can ride a freight train Most anywhere Seem mighty strange Strange to me Work, work Work don't bother me CD's called Live on Music City Roots. Brand new from Bill and the Bells. And you've got Carl uh, Zerfus in the back playing upright. Let's say hi to the guitar player, Chris Trulson. Chris, hey welcome there. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. Oh, yeah, we love it. Now, you, you really do have the decidedly like that 1930s, 1940s style of presentation. It's sort of like A.P. Carter incarnate. I mean, it really sounds great. Just not that tall. It's not that tall. Yeah. So tell me about the makeup of Bill and the Bells. We have to establish first, there is nobody named Bill in the Bells. That is true. So, <laughs> do we want to go there? Yeah, we might as well explain it. You're Bill. You're Billless. Okay. Well, there's a few different tales to this to this story. I'll tell you the real one. Some, depending how I'm feeling, sometimes I go on a long, long tangent. I won't do that to you. Thank you. <clears throat> So, the name Bill and the Bells, there's a, there's a 78 that was recorded in Johnson City, Tennessee, which is where we're from. Uh, it, there was the Johnson City location recordings in 1929 and 1930. There happens to be one record that I just th think is one of the most phenomenal hillbilly records to ever be cut. And it's from a group called Bill and Bell Reed. And they cut the old lady and the devil on one side, on the B side, was You Shall Be Free. That's the only recording that they ever made, and we kind of wanted to pay homage to them because that, that record is just too darn good to be you, true. You could have just said you stole the name from <laughs> an older record. <laughs> That's true. But it, it is good. Now, you, 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 by design, Bill and the Bells, you're, you're sort of reintroducing that old sound of a traditional early Carter family style of yeah. country music. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're really, we dig pretty deep in, into the early 20th century, even into the late 19th century for tunes, trying to find songs that the folks may not have heard before, uh, but were, were very popular back then. And I think a lot of the melodies back then lend themselves to a sense of familiarity. Uh, so whether or not you've heard those songs before, I think that a lot of, a lot of people that we play for, they, they resonate with them in some, in some context. Uh, that we didn't really plan for. It just kind of happened. And certainly the musicianship in the group is, is stellar. Let's say hi to uh, Kalia Yeagle on the violin. Hi, the Michael. Fiddle. An Alaska girl interested in Appalachian music. Can you believe it? So, so, you, so you grew up in Alaska. I did, born and raised. And so what was your interest in Appalachian music? Way up there in the Yukon. How does that happen? I don't know. Well, actually, Alaska does a really phenomenal job of fostering an interest and passion for acoustic music. And I grew up in Anchorage's really, really rich 
folk music community. And my father was a bluegrass musician, so I grew up surrounded by, surrounded by lots of different styles of music. And I picked up the fiddle. It was the only instrument my dad didn't play when I was four years old, and I decided that was the one I wanted. That's the one you wanted. Yeah. The one that he could not teach mm -hmm. you to play, yeah. right? That's yeah. right. So what brought you to the lower 48? How did you uh, leave Alaska and come? Yeah. Well, uh, the music has always been something that I knew I wanted to devote my time to, and I moved down to East Tennessee to go to graduate school to study Appalachian Studies um, by way of, of New York, and uh, yeah, and I'm happy. I'm really happy to be in East Tennessee and happy to run into these guys. Well, we're happy that you could be here on our broadcast to be able to introduce this uh, wonderful sound. The group is called Bill and the Bells. they got a new CD called Live on Music City Roots. This is a tune off that album called Old Lonesome Blues, Bill and the Bells on the Wood Songs. Old Time Radio. Album. Old Lonesome Blues is the name of the song. Live on Music City Roots is the name of the CD. On Wood Songs, you're hearing Bill and the Bells from Johnson City, Tennessee, a wonderful old time, new contemporary kind of group. We've also got the amazing John McEwen here with songs from his new album. And wait till you meet this week's Wood Songs Kid. We will be back right after this. You're listening to Wood Songs Show number 855, broadcasting around the world from the historic city of Lexington, Kentucky. If you would like to attend a Wood Songs broadcast when visiting Lexington, you can find reservation and show schedules on our website, woodsongs.com. We'll be back after the break with Bill and the Bells and John McEwen on the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. The television broadcast of the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour is presented in part by. The Martin Guitar Company, making handcrafted guitars since 1833. Online at martinguitar.com. The Lexington Convention and Visitors Bureau, providing information to visit Lexington, Kentucky, online at visitlex.com. 
by Folkbook, a social media site for arts and music. Online at folk-book.com. By Ear Trumpet Labs, manufacturing American-made microphones for folk, bluegrass, roots, and acoustic artists. Online at eartrumpetlabs.com. Hi, this is J.D. Crow, and you're listening to folk singer Michael Jonathan and the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. There's our friend J.D. Crow, the amazing Grammy-winning banjo player that we love. Welcome, everybody, to our broadcast. We're coming to you from the crossroads of America's folk and bluegrass music, the gateway city to the magnificent Appalachian Mountains, over 500 radio stations around the world, and we want to welcome some new affiliates to our listening family, K, I'm sorry, CKEC East Coast FM in Nova Scotia, 91X CJLX FM in Bellevue, Ontario, WGRN in Worthington, Ohio, WPCA in Emory, Wisconsin, and Black River Public Radio. Radio in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. <laughs> Joining our big family of affiliates. We are broadcasting worldwide on American Forces Radio Network that puts this show on two radio station channels in 173 nations, plus every single military base in the world, every U.S. naval ship in the world, every Coast Guard vessel sailing in North America, and we do want to say hello to all the men and women and families and <laughs> listeners on American Forces Radio Network. We are Coast to Coast as a public television series. You get to watch what you are hearing on the radio. And this is the part of the show that uh, we enjoy to uh, introduce uh, every single week because Woodsongs is being used in classrooms. If you go to woodsongs.com, click on the classroom page. If you're a teacher, if you're a homeschool parent, we have many, many of these shows that you can use uh, to introduce your kids to this wonderful world of roots music with lesson plans, middle, high, college level lesson plans. And so we invite a kid from uh, somewhere in the United States to come and perform a song on our broadcast. And today we found a 16-year-old gentleman from Front Royal, Virginia. Please say hello to Victor Furtado. How are you doing, Victor? So Front Royal, Virginia, you came a long way to be on Wood Songs. We're very grateful. And you have an amazing father that is willing to drive you, right? <laughs> yep. And you guys just took an amazing trip. Tell me about this very unusual <laughs> trip that you and your dad took across America. Okay, so me and my dad took two 50cc mopeds and drove from Virginia to Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> your dad deserves a Grammy Award just for that, right? So how old were you when you started playing the banjo? You're, you're, let's get this straight. You're like one of the uber champions of young people on the banjo in America. And you have like a gazillion billion views on YouTube, now, right? <laughs> yeah. How old were you when you started playing the banjo? I was nine years old when I started playing. And you're 16 years old now? Yeah, I'm 16 now. And, and you're winning all these big uh, uh, contests and, and, and banjo championships. Does that... Does that do you ever lay down at night and think, man, I'm amazing? <laughs> no, I just think about other people that are amazing. Like, like John McEwen, for <laughs> yeah, example. Yeah, like John right? McEwen. Yeah. So you, uh, you're going to play a special song for us. Tell me the title of this song. This is a song called Quince Dillon and High T. Now, is, is this a song that you wrote? This is not a song I wrote. This is an old time song. OK, and, and you're playing it, obviously, in D? I'm actually playing it in C right now. You're playing it in C. <laughs> so it's called in high D, but you're playing it in C. Yeah, that's and, right. <laughs> and tell me about your banjo. What kind of banjo are you playing? This is a gold tone uh, BC 350. And it's an open back banjo, right? Yeah, does, it does, it's not a bluegrass style. Banjo. Yeah, bluegrass style has a resonator, and old time style has no resonator. Right, and when folks are listening to you play on your right hand, what are you doing with your right hand? It's called the bum D. Bum ditty is the, the pattern, right? But Bum ditty is the pattern, yeah. But you're playing it, no picks, just no your picks. fingers. Yeah, just my fingernail, actually. It's a style called claw hammer. Maybe. Okay, 16 years old from Front Royal, Virginia, Victor Furtado, this week's Wood Songs Kid. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Sixteen years old from Fort Royal, Front Royal, Virginia. This week's Wood Songs kid, Victor Furtado. Victor, who, who's your musical hero? It's not necessarily a banjo player, is it? No, my main musical hero is actually a cellist named Richard Eggleston. And it's not, it's like when you hear cellist, you think like... Like, you know, like all classical and stuff. And this guy is like not very classical. Like, <laughs> um, he plays, he's just, he just plays like whatever he wants to. And that's he like, was with a band at Fat of Boston called uh, Crooked Still. Yeah, he, yeah. He's, and so you're, you're learning how to sort of chomp the banjo the way he does his cello, right? Yeah, so um, when I was about like, I guess probably just like when I was 14, I started listening to him a lot. And I was just playing like traditional old time, just kind of like... <laughs> And that's really awesome and like old time and bluegrass is all really fun but I like once I heard him like I just had like an explosion in my mind I'm like you can actually do whatever you want with the instrument like just because it's a banjo doesn't mean you have to play old time and bluegrass you can play whatever you want so like he just kind of like opened my mind so I'm like he does this crazy like chop on the cello and it's he does like all these different styles I'm like oh, I wish I could I wish I could play these crazy things like he does this like kind of like I'm like, ha! Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Inspiration comes from all kinds, and I'm sure that you're going to be inspiring a lot of uh, kids that hear you. I think uh, in a lot of ways you're the, uh, the new Bela Fleck of claw hammer bands. <laughs> Victor Furtado, Thank Front you, Royal, Virginia. I hate to make you follow a kid, John. I'm, I'm going to leave now. <laughs> but isn't it fun to hear I these? I don't want to know his answer to this. Put the mic on. <laughs> He'll uh, play it. He's already won. He's already won. <laughs> That is very wonderful. I uh, admire you greatly. You're going to get into a song uh, that is uh, written by uh, John Cable, I think. John Cable spent a lot of time with the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. He was with us when we became the first American group to go to the Soviet Union. We did 28 shows over there, and John was on that trip. We were very proud of that. They and didn't keep me. <laughs> I got to come home. <laughs> he got to come home. It was like a whole other country over there. You know? <laughs> Well, you're, you're going to do a very uh, beautiful song off of one of uh, John's albums called Wild Ride. It's John McEwen on the Woods Songs, Old Time Radio. say 
to fly down the mountainside. Don't just live to die. Take a wild ride. Oh, rivers rush to fly down the mountainside. Don't just live to die. Take a wild ride. Take a John McEwen on mandolin, a beautiful song from Broken Knife, John Cable's uh, 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 CD. And, and John, you, you're doing so many things. You've got the new album, um, the Made in Brooklyn, that's that's out now. But yeah. but you do so many other things, and you're involved with a, with a, of all things a news website, syndicatednews.net. So what or, what is this? Or SNN.bz. It's a site uh, that my partner and I have been developing for the last several years. It gives you all the news in a way that you can't get nowadays. In other words, it's not just three sentences from somebody that said something. It's a whole 10-page report posted. You make your decision. So th this, is, this is an actual news site. It has, it's, not a, it's not a music-based site, as someone would expect from you, right? There's this music. Is... I've interviewed people like Malcolm McDowell and, and Kevin Nealon and... Uh, Dave Matthews, all kinds of music people and show business people. It's, li it's literally a news site, though. It's not, a, it's not just a music site that folks would f at first expect from you, but this Syndica is actually it's a yeah. hardcore news site. Syndicatednews.net is a situation where when there's things happening, you can go find out everything about it. My partner is uh, really good at finding all the reports and everything. So you, and I hesitate to advertise the articles that are on there. Just go look. But anything that's current in the news about actors or military or history, what's going on, food things, mm -hmm. all and kinds the, of stuff. And the name of the site again is? Syndicatednews.net or SNN.bz. Okay. Because it's really hard nowadays to turn on the news and find out what's going on sometimes. Mm -hmm. you know, well, I mean, don't you people feel like that? <laughs> I mean, what, that's because One thing we found out in Russia is that the whole country was run by 3% of the population that were the Communist Party. And I got home and I found out that this place has got it figured out better. It's, it's run only 1%. <laughs> well, the pro... <laughs> Which brings us to your wonderful new album called Made in Brooklyn. I was just thinking about that myself. Yeah, yeah, I was too. <laughs> You're gonna do a Warren Zevon song off your new album. It's called Excitable Boy. It's John McEwen on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. Now this is a weird one. It's like a new bluegrass murder song. <laughs> Warren always considered himself a folk singer. At least that's what he used to tell me. Ready, boys? Oh. Well, he went down to dinner in his Sunday best Excitable boy, they all said And he rubbed that pot roast all over his chest Excitable boy, they all said They said he's just an excitable boy He took in the 4 a.m. show at the Clark Excitable boy, they all said the usherette's leg in the dark Excitable boy, they all said They said he's just an excitable boy Well, he took little Susie to the junior prom. Excitable boy, they 
all said Son of a boy And he raped her and killed her Then he took her home Excitable boy, they all said Excitable boy They said he's just an excitable boy And after ten long years They let him out of the home Excitable boy, they all said Excitable boy And he dug up her grave And built a cage with her bones Excitable boy, they all said Excitable boy Oh, he's just an excitable boy Matt Karstonis on vocals there. John McEwen, the artist from his new CD, Made in Brooklyn. If you want to be, revisit this broadcast, we encourage you to go to our website, woodsongs.com, click on the archive page. This is show number 855. You get to revisit the music of John McEwen, plus our next artist. They are going to do a tune off their album called Caroline Sunshine Girl. Please welcome them back, Bill and the Bells. I 
And your old photograph You are the sweetest angel in this world And I love, love, love you My Carolina sunshine girl Isn't that great? I love it. Bill and the Bells from Johnson City, Tennessee, an unreleased tune. That's a special treat to the Wood Songs uh, audience. We've uh, introduced all the uh, members of the band. Sans one, and let's say hi to Grace uh, Van Hoff. Nice to hi. meet you, Grace. <laughs> and, and you, you started playing banjo by making your own. Yeah, um, I was in high school, I wasn't much into athletics, so I was on the Science Olympiad team, and I already played classical violin and piano, so I got delegated to an event where I had to build a banjo, and my dad and I built the old-time mountain banjo out of the old Foxfire books. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, yeah, I yeah. know those books. They're really and cool. And I, I was hooked. And there you are. <laughs> And you are a founding member of the Grammy-nominated group Della May, so you have a good history performing. How'd you hook up with these fine folks here in Bill and the Bells? I ran into most of them at the Down Home in Johnson City, oh, where really? we all live. Yeah. And so yeah. it just worked out that the four of you became a quartet, and, uh, and off you go. Yeah, it kind of started out um, one night. It was probably 2, 3 in the morning, and we were having a jam after a show, and uh, we sang a trio together and it was the rest is history and something here, clicked <laughs> and here you are and i have to say that the the uniqueness of the presentation of this music you know i mean uh, to have a, a a younger group presenting this uh, 1930s 1940s style with such uh, sincere reverence is a beautiful thing to watch it really is a beautiful thing to watch thank you they have a new CD, it's called uh, Music, uh, Live at Music City Roots, it's a live album, so if you like what you're hearing on Wood Songs, you'll love their album because it sounds the same. And this is a tune off that album called Pal of Mine, it's Bill and the Bells from Johnson City, Tennessee. Back in those days have gone by. Call me back, pal of mine. Let me live there once again. Call me back to your heart, oh, pal of mine. Yes, pal of mine. Let me thrill with a charm as I linger in your arms as I did in those days have gone by. Let me roam. Once again, down in old lover's lane And I'll kiss your love lips So divine, so divine Let me gaze in your eyes As I find paradise Call me back to your heart, oh, pal of mine Yes, call me back, pal of mine As I say so long Maybe I will see you down the road Honey, if I do I'll gaze in your eyes Lord knows we both find paradise So yes, call me back Call me back, pal of mine Call me back, pal of mine Let me live there once again Call me back to your heart Oh, pal of mine Yes, pal of mine Let me thrill with the charm as I linger in your arms, as I did in those days have gone by. Let me roam once again down in old lover's lane. And I'll kiss your love lips so divine, so divine. Let me gaze in your eyes as I find paradise. Call me back to your heart, oh pal of mine. Yes, call me back. (laughs) 
Wasn't it great having Bill and the Bells on the broadcast today? From Front Royal, Virginia, this week's Wood Songs kid, Victor Furtado, 16 years old. Founding member of the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, he's got a new album called Made in Brooklyn, the great John McEwen. How grateful we are. You know, music is sort, of a, uh, is sort of a holy trinity. There's three very important parts to the world of music. There's a great artist like John McEwen. There's a great song like these wonderful songs that Bill and the Bells have been playing. But the third part of this triad is the audience, you. Without you, the other two do not exist. Sometimes you're sitting in that seat of yours and you think that, you know, all the wonderness is up on the stage. It's not. A third of the wonderment of the world of art and music is your seat. It's you. The audience is such a vital part of this world of music and art. Walt Whitman, a long time ago, said something. He said, to have great artists, there must be a great audience. Bill and the Bells are Woodsong's kids. Guys like John McHugh and that have lasted 50 years in this world of music is there because of you. An amazing, wonderful, passionate, loyal audience, and we all thank you very, very much. My name is Michael Jonathan. I'm a folk singer. I am a song farmer, and we'll see you next week on the Woods Song. Old time radio. Good night. You've been listening to Wood Songs Podcast number 855. Michael's opening song was East Virginia Blues from the Ravenwood album featuring special guest Bill and the Bells. Our chief engineer is Jerome Galt. Technical assistants are Brian Clausey, Brandon Eves, Ryan Zinka, and Eric Anderson. Our TV and internet broadcast is directed by Maria Claritz and assisted by Emily Comfort. Our technical director is David Bingham. The Wood Songs crew member of the week is Will Harvey. Special support provided by Hybrid Spring Water, Common Grounds Coffee, and the staff of the Lyric Theater and Pasta Garage in Lexington. Our show is produced with the support of VisitLux.com, the Bluegrass Hospitality Association, and the 21C Museum Hotel, welcoming visitors from all over the world to Lexington, Kentucky. Wood Songs and the Wood Songs symbol are registered trademarks of Rachel Aubrey Music. Our show is distributed worldwide by the Wood Songs Radio Network and PRX. Thanks for listening. I'm Joe Conkright. For my Michael Jonathan and the entire Wood Songs crew. This is Dorothy Edwards. We hope you'll join us again next week for the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. online version of the Wood Songs. Old Time Radio Hour is a free gift to our fans provided by VisitLex.com. Inviting fans and families worldwide to visit Lexington, Kentucky and attend our live broadcast tapings. The Encore section is next. You can support this massive online archive of shows by becoming a Wood Songs radio partner. Become a Wood Songs partner today. We need your support to keep our broadcast going. It's as simple as a PayPal click on our website, WoodSongs.com. Give yourselves a big hand. You did great. You did great. You're wonderful. Thank you. Give the Wood Songs crew a big hand, too. They hit a couple problems, came right through it, plowed through it, barely stopped. They're great. All right, so we're going to set up our right now to do the uh, encore performances, Bill and the Bells, and then we're going to do Victor, and then we'll uh, end the show with uh, John McEwen's uh, encore song. We're going to switch out some of our camera folks to give new people a chance to uh, uh, get behind the cameras and stuff. A couple of things. Next week on this stage, the entire broadcast is multi-Grammy award-winning uh, uh, Dobro player Jerry Douglas and Earls of Leicester. Their big tribute to uh, Lester Flat and Earl Scruggs is going to be on. On Wood Songs this coming Monday. So there's uh, so much good music coming up. You need to go to our website, woodsongs.com. A bunch of new shows have been loaded up there. And wait till you see who's coming all the way from around the world to be on this show. Uh, 
I really suggest you become a Woodsong's partner if you're not already. Because Woodsong, Woodsong's partners came to tonight's show for free. You think that was worth the ticket? Come for free. It's great. So become a Woodsong's partner. You get to see over 40 shows a year uh, uh, free. We have a couple of special events where the ticket charge is very, very tiny. But really, it's a, it's a brilliant way to see this great world of, of diverse grassroots music. Last week, we had barbershop quartets. I mean, they came from Sweden to be on the show, Milwaukee to be on the show. Our Woodsong's kids came from southern New Jersey. And it was probably one of the best shows that we ever did. So. There's so much music. You are part of it. We want you to come next week to see uh, the, the, the uh, Flat & Scruggs tribute band, uh, uh, Earls of Leicester, with these great music. It's a super group, if there ever was one. Jerry Douglas is leaving it, uh, leading it, the great uh, uh, multi-Grammy award-winning Dobro player. These artists have brought their CDs, and they're going to be in the lobby to say hello to you, so don't feel like you have to get up and just leave right away. They're going to be in the lobby to say hi. So uh, more announcements to come in between the encore songs. Why don't we start with Bill and the Bells, okay? Yeah. Deal? Okay. All right, we'll get you one you probably heard before, but maybe not like this. This is called The Deal Ray. Been all around this whole round world from the state of Tennessee. Any old place that I hang my head and it's home, yes, it's sweet home to me. Don't let it down, don't let it down, don't let the deal go down. Deal goes down at last, go round, my last go dollar done gone. Oh, lay your lay, 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 Don't let the deal go down Don't let it down, mama, mama Don't let it down, sweet mama Don't let the deal go down Deal goes down Drunk anymore. Uh -uh. Hang my head on that lid. I ain't gonna get drunk anymore. Oh, no, you won't. Don't let it die, no. mama, mama. Don't let it die, no. sweet mama. Don't, Don't let the deal go down. Deal goes down. That last go round. My last go dollar done gone.
And, uh, and before we leave, we, we didn't get to talk about this during the show, but uh, you travel from uh, Johnson City to uh, Bristol, which is sort of the heart of this old time country music where the Carter family got signed and Jimmy Rogers got signed. And, and there's a special setup out there. And you're, you're the program director of, of a radio station out there. Yes, sir, that's true. Uh, radio Bristol, out of the birthplace of Country Music Museum. It's a Smithsonian affiliate right in the heart of the Tri-Cities in Bristol, where Bristol does have that great, great history of commercial country music, as you mentioned, from the, starting in 1927. A lot of really great things happened that were monumental to country music. So the radio station is a brand new facet of the museum, and we are absolutely uh, thrilled about the project. We, ha we play a lot of classic stuff. We play Americana stuff. We have three channels on, on the app. Uh, we're producing a video channel right now, so there's a lot of cool stuff. And then Farm and Fun Time, which is, which is back. It was a show from the 40s. I'm actually the host of it. Bill and the Bells are the house band, and we get a lot of great talent in. It's kind of a throwback, old-school country variety show sort of thing. It's really fun. Well, it's nice to have a compatriot on the broadcast today. So. Yes, sir. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. All right, a couple things as uh, Victor gets ready for his encore song. September 23 and 24, Wood Songs is holding its second annual gathering. This is a music festival and member conference of the Wood Songs Front Porch Association. They call their members song farmers. Song farmers are artists, poets, dreamers, passionate people that want to use art sometimes for things other than money, other than selling things. There's so many wonderful things you can do with music and there's no greater stage, really, than your own front porch. And so uh, the WFPA, the Song Farming Community, is really a national association of front porch pickers. They may not do music for their livelihood, but it's a major, major part of their life. And there's about a thousand of them coming from around North America to assemble at Shaker Village, right outside of Lexington, September 23 and 24. And if you become a member of the WFPA, if you become a song farmer, we give you five free tickets to attend both days of the Wood Songs Gathering. There's going to be barbershop quartet singing, shape notes singing, banjo players. Pat Flynn, the guitarist from uh, New Grass Revival, is going to be there. Uh, Banana Lowell from the Young Bloods is going to be there. There's going to be films and lectures and poets and all kinds of music for two solid days. It's going to be a huge celebration of front porch art, and we would love for you to be part of it. And if you want to find out information, it's uh, the, the Will's going to be at the the table. He's leaving right now to go to the table. I could see him getting up. He's running. There goes Will to the table. <laughs> you see how we motivate our crew? <laughs> we do it from stage sometimes. So he's going to be at the table and he'll explain all about uh, uh, becoming a member. It's really like super amazingly cheap. And the proceeds from the membership go to support the Wood Songs Classroom Project plus we are starting song farmer clubs all over the nation. These are community music jams. Right now, there's 18 of them, from Florida to Vermont, uh, of people getting together on a regular basis just to pick and sing. There's no tickets, there's no nothing. It's just folks are gathering together to play music. And, and the Wood Songs Front Porch Association is, is organizing all of this around the country, which brings us to our 16-year-old, amazing and incredibly handsome young uh, banjo player <laughs> who just went on, on a worldwide tour of uh, America. How do you do that? A worldwide tour of America uh, <laughs> with his dad on a moped. This is the little tiny motorized bicycle. Right? Yeah, yep, that's what it is. The little it's not a motorcycle. <laughs> no, it's not a motorcycle. It's, it's like a, it's, 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 it's very slow on hills. Yes. <laughs> I didn't know how to say that without embarrassing anybody. But, so what song are you going to play for us? I'm going to play a song that I wrote called Lost Barrel.
you got to wait in the lobby and meet this kid. <laughs> I mean, really, he's going to be out in the lobby to say hello. And we have to thank your dad, Tom. I mean, the parent, it, it really doesn't uh, lose sight with me that, that these parents go through a lot to not just help their kids, but even to have them come uh, on our show. I mean, the poor guy just went across the country on a moped, then he's driving his kid to Lexington to be on Wood Songs. I think we're very grateful to his dad, don't you? Where's his dad? Where's his dad? Where is he? Where'd he go? Over I think he got, he got on the moped and left. <laughs> is, he, is he in the room? I wanted to introduce him, so. All right, so uh, 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 a couple other things. Troubadour Concert Series, next week we've got two big concerts at the Opera House, Tuesday night. A double bill, same stage, same night, one ticket, Steve Earle and Sean Colvin together on the same stage. That's Tuesday night. Friday night, Lyle Lovett is coming with his large band and a 24-member choir. That's going to be Friday night at the Opera House. Also this week, tickets go on sale for the October 22nd acoustic concert of Peter Frampton. So Peter Frampton in concert, it's an acoustic concert. He's going to do all those huge hits on an acoustic guitar. It's one of the most amazing, intimate things you've ever seen, but he's a brilliant, brilliant guitar player. And so the Troubadour Concert Series is really honored that he asked to come to the Troubadour Concert Series and, and perform at the Opera House for us. So if uh, you want to know all the amazing things going on with Wood Songs and all the stuff going on about the Wood Songs gathering in September and all the Troubadour concerts coming to town, all you have to do is sign up for the Wood Songs email newsletter. You can either do it out in the lobby or you go to our website, woodsongs.com, and enter your email address. It's not shared. It's not sold. It's used only for those things. And if you want to keep up to date on the amazing things going on in the world of music, because you may not be able to depend on newspaper, <laughs> syndicatednews.net syndicated might help you. That's right. Having said that, Mr. John McEwen. The hardest working man in show business. You're really, you're really, you know, uh, it co comes to mind is something Johnny Carson said years ago. Don't ever follow a kid or a banjo player. <laughs> and you got stuck with both. Yeah. <laughs> Twice. I'd like to commend this young man for how good he is. Now we've got to see it, how good these people are. <laughs> well, I was going to say, and it looks like his hair is going to go pretty good, too, doesn't it? <laughs> we're going to need your help on this one, friends. We're all pitching in, and we're all in this together. I haven't heard him sing yet, have you? No, 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 but I have a feeling we're gonna. You think you're gonna, gonna figure it out? I reckon so. Just watch these folks because. It's like got three words. It's not Louie Louie, but it's another one like that. Don't tell them though. Ready, boys? Oh, oh yeah. Look 
get started, it's hard to stop. Don't watch out, you're gonna blow your top. When you do the hokey boogie, do, do the, the hokey boogie. boogie. Do it up your style, do it up your style. That mean hokey boogie is bound to drive you wild. Come on, Kalia, show them how it's done. Just a little too much. He had to overdo it. He had to overdo it. Oklahoma style. Oklahoma style. That mean buggy buggy bound to drive you wild. Oh, who wants to take it now? Oh, yeah. Fingers, friends. Okay, like way down. Ah, oh, Victor, you ready? I got a spare room 